Good morning. Hi, this is Travis from the National Weather Service, and this is your weather hazard briefing for Friday, October 13th. We are looking for a drying and warming trend uh, starting today and continuing for the foreseeable future. Um, we are going to be fairly cool in the mornings, particularly the next couple of mornings. We'll likely need a frost advisory in the upper Snake Plain and Arco Desert. Um, we'll look for some patchy fog, particularly this morning um, where we had um, a lot of precip, like Idaho Falls has pretty good fog right now. And then, um, again, we'll have overall high pressure, but there'll be weak waves move through. There'll be one Saturday and then one another one early next week. Not looking at a lot of precip. One impact, though, we will have is we do have an annual eclipse um, that will happen Saturday morning from 9 a.m. to noon. Approximately about 1030 is the peak viewing time. And um, I'll, I'll show you the chart here in a minute. But we do look like there's a weak wave moving through and, and potentially could... Um, block the viewing of that. It looks like to be partly to mostly cloudy during that time frame. And then for the next couple of weeks, we look to be dominated mostly by high pressure um, with warmer than normal temps overall and uh, continued uh, dry conditions. Um, again, there will be some weak waves that move through, but overall that looks to be the overall trend for the next couple of weeks. Here's the satellite imagery. We see we have a high pressure building in from the west. We can have lingering moisture across our area. Again, Idaho Falls has some weak, little fog right now, a quarter mile visibility, and uh, potentially you can see fog across the southeast highland, eastern highlands, and lower areas. Particularly, they had a lot of good precip um, from from yesterday. Um, those are the areas here: the Snake Plain, um, eastern highlands, and then the um, Lost River area, uh, Arco Desert is mainly with the frost advisory, as well as the Snake Upper and Lower Snake Plain for the frost advisory. I'll show you those temps here in a minute. Here's the low temperatures for this morning. Again, the, the best areas across the Arco Desert and lower and upper Snake Plain. At least uh, they could potentially get down below freezing in a couple areas. Um, models probabilities are showing it. They're very low, but there is possibility. Um, not looking to get below 28, though. So um, it would be very spotty. And then you could potentially get a couple of frost areas up into the eastern mountain valleys or snow mountain valleys. It's not that likely. So this is again where we have the frost advisory out for this morning. We'll likely need it again tomorrow, same area. Here's our temperatures, mostly 40s, the mountains, uh, 50s generally across the area with a few 60s to our west where the high pressure is starting to build in from the west today. And then there's your low temperatures Saturday morning. You can see again, likely that 33 to 36 range for the frost advisory across our growing areas. Um, and not as likely um, in the eastern areas uh, excuse me, in the western areas. Particularly, we're going to have cloud cover moving in um, fairly early. So here's the, the annual solar eclipse, 9 a.m. to noon. Particularly, it looks like about 1030. We don't have, we're not in the direct path, but we are close, about 80% uh, for most of our area. Um, and then you can get more information here below um, about the annual uh, solar eclipse. And then uh, clouds do look to be fairly cloudy. Um, uh, the least clouds are in our southwest areas where th that is the better viewing. Um, but um, fairly likely, um, good, <clears throat> good likelihood that this will happen. Um, most models are showing, uh, again, that weak wave move over. Not looking at any precip, but just some pretty good cloud cover. And then here's our temperatures on Saturday. Overall, 50s and 60s, um, and even some mid-60s here, particularly our western areas as that high pressure builds in. And overall, we're looking to be uh, um, uh, less precip than normal with a high pressure centered over to our, um, just to our southwest. Um, you can see that in both the, the precip outlook and the, the temperature outlook with the bullseye to our southwest. There will, again, be some weak waves that move through time to time, pick up winds, a little bit of cloud, but uh, maybe a little bit of precip to our north. But overall, it looks to be overall dry and um, slightly warmer than normal not only 6 to 10, but also on the 8 to 14 um, due to overall high pressure. So again, just a dry and warming trend starting today and, and continuing into next week and perhaps even longer for the next couple of weeks. Frost advisory at least the next couple morning. Um, we have it will be some weak waves move that high pressure from time to time, one of them being uh, bad timing for Saturday morning when we have a, an annual eclipse. Um, from 9 to noon with the timing most likely 10.30ish for our area. But the, um, with that wave going through, well, it does look to be mostly cloudy. Um, and then 
<clears throat> continue to be uh, dry, mostly dry and slightly above normal temperatures with dominant overall um, high pressure. Again, there'll be some weak waves from time to time in the next couple of weeks. So that concludes the briefing. If you have any questions, give us a call at this number. Thanks.